Now we talk about briefly the blood groups. What are the blood groups? About 29 different types of blood group systems are found in human beings, but two are very important. One is the ABO system and other is the RH system. Why we have different blood groups? Because our blood cells have different types of antigens on their surface. Antigens are specific proteins which can cause the release of different types of antibodies. One system is ABO blood group system. There, this is due to two antigens present on the blood cells. One is the antigen A, another is the antigen B. We look at a diagram. On the blood cells in, which, in this diagram you can see, there are four blood groups according to the ABO system. O, A, B and AB. If, uh, if, uh, and there are two antigens which are involved, antigen A and antigen B. Those people who have an O blood group actually do not have any antigen. Not A nor B. The other ones who have an A blood group have A antigen present on the surface of their blood cells, as you can see, diagram in the right top. Then those who have only B antigen present on their blood group on their blood cell surface are called blood have having blood group B. Um, and the last one, which have both of these antigens present on their surface of the RBC, A and B, they have blood group AB. Now the second one is uh, RH. RH is another type of uh, antigen which was um, actually discovered first in the rhesus monkey. So these were named as RH. RH is another antigen which is present or absent. So the people who have an RH uh, antigen present on their blood cells are called RH positive and people who don't have it called RH negative. Now there is a property of uh, these blood groups, these antigens and the uh, blood type according to these antigens, which is uh, very important in blood transfusions because we know that many times blood transfusions are required in case of a surgery for example uh, a person needs a blood transfusion because its blood is lost due to an injury blood could loss in some diseases like thalassemia patient needs consistently blood transfusion actually when a person have an antigen a on their blood cells they produces antigen antibody b in their cells uh, in their uh, blood those people who have an antigen B on their blood uh, cell surface, they produce an anti antibody A. The result is this, that if we give um, wrong blood, that is uh, blood group B to the person who have a blood group A, it already have the antibodies present, present against the B antigen. That is, blood group A have anti-B antibodies. So, if we give wrong blood group a wrong blood to the uh, person, the result will be clumping because antibody B will react with the antigen B on the blood cells and the blood cells will clump together. Due to clumping, the bloods cannot pass through uh, the capillaries and the result will be, uh, will maybe um, uh, death of the patient even. Uh, so in blood transfusion, this is very important that we do the grouping very correctly. There is a one blood group, O, is called universal donor because uh, it can donate blood to every blood group because um, O blood group people don't have any antibodies because they don't have any antigen. Um, more precisely, the O negative blood group is the universal donor because O negative actually don't have any of three antibodies, A, B and RH. They don't have any antigen and they don't have any antibody. Group AB is called a universal acceptor because it have antigen A and antigen B um, and uh, don't have antibodies for, uh, for any of these. So AB can accept all the blood types, A, B and O. Um, this is about uh, transport system in, in organisms, um, different types of organisms and uh, the human blood and its different properties. Um, I hope uh, you understand what we talked about today.